Hey everyone, this is Doug with BNH. Today, we're going to take our first look at an exciting new tool in the camera rigging world. This is the Move System from Manfrotto, and it's a completely new take on tripod and accessory connection solutions. Really, it's a whole new ecosystem that puts speed and ease of use above all else. Now, if you're the type of shooter who finds themselves constantly switching between the stability of a tripod and the mobility of a gimbal, the Move System can turn that laborious process into a painless quick release procedure that just keeps you moving. So let's take a look. At the heart of the Move System is the Move Quick Release Catcher. It's a fairly small circular base that has a locking mechanism and a base plate that is pushed into place. The advantage of this, right off the bat, is the 360 degree connection. Now, unlike a traditional quick release plate, the quick release catcher allows a user to lock the camera back onto the base without needing to move parts around the rig, like say, a tripod arm. You don't even have to twist the plate, rather you twist the lock ring to the left for an extra lock up to 44 pounds, and then twist to the right, <laughs> which unlocks and releases the plate from the top. And while one move quick release catcher can certainly speed things up on set, adding multiple catchers between your base plates and tripod heads opens the door to some really cool run and gun setups. The basic setup of the quick release catcher is pretty easy. The base can go onto pretty much anything that supports a 3 8 16 screw threading, and the plate itself at the top is 1 quarter 20. But you'll notice that a simple screw and adapter is nestled inside the plate at your disposal if you need it. So what I've got here is a pretty typical scenario for many video productions. You've got the static shots out of the way, and now you want to move over to a slider for some smooth, subtle motion. Usually what this means is that you'll either have to take your tripod head off the legs, place it on top of the slider, or have another tripod head entirely dedicated to the slider. In either case, there's usually some amount of reconfiguration that has to happen to change from one setup to the other. The Move system eliminates this issue by allowing the tripod head itself to quickly release from the legs to the slider and vice versa. You can see here, I've already got a catcher on this MVH500AH and the SERP Magic Carpet slider. But these days, there are many users who take both stills and video. And while tripod heads are used in both worlds, of course, a photo head is much different from a video head. And switching between them can be a bit of a pain. Take this Q6 ball head, which is great for stills, but lacks the control, not to mention the support of a video head, something like the one we have here already. But what if we put a QR catcher on each head? True, the heads themselves have quick release plates, but in this case at least, they're completely different plates. The move system takes care of that difference and effectively lets you swap heads without having to change out the base plate either. Now, if you wanted to take it a step further, we don't have enough of them here to demo it for you, but with a third catcher, you could put that on the legs like we did before, and then place QR plates beneath each head, letting you swap the entire assembly separately from the camera in mere seconds. So you can probably imagine the possibilities that this opens up. Coming out alongside the quick release catcher are a few accessories that really take advantage of the speed of the system. But you can also pair this with pretty much any existing accessory too. Most exciting is the MVG300XM modular gimbal, which not only acts as a gimbal stabilizer, but as the name suggests, is entirely modular. We don't have one here yet to demo for you, but to take a quick look, you can see that the handle, feet, and grip can detach from the camera base, which itself is broadly compatible with the bigger Manfrotto ecosystem, thanks to the 501PL profile that it supports. Another new accessory is the Gim Boom, which is a telescoping monopod. It can be used solely with the quick release catcher to give your camera some stability and reach out in the field, but it gets really interesting once you attach the Gim Pod to it. The Gim Pod is a two leg add on that screws onto the midsection of the Gim Boom, folds out, and turns it into a tripod. Better yet, there's an offset quick release plate that makes up for the tilt in the Gim Boom. And yes, you can even attach the base of the modular gimbal straight to the gim boom, giving you the extraordinary reach of a boom with the stability of a gimbal head. So that's it for now, but we'll be back in a few weeks with a closer look at Manfrotto's move system and even some more configuration options. But as for the quick release catcher, well, it's small enough to integrate into almost any setup and it could be a game changer for shooters of all types. So I'm Doug with BNH and I'll see you next time.